Nothing bad. Uh, spending a little time in the past. Yeah. Still come out here to think, you know? I miss it. How about you? One last look before camp? Nah. I just came out here to think, too. Anything I can help with? Better be careful, Mouth. Last time you helped me, you got fired, and now you're sitting out here at the river court looking kind of creepy and stalkerish. <laughs> this is true. You're on your own this time. Sometimes I wonder if I had to do it all over again, if I would. Yeah. Well, I don't know if I ever told you this, but I respected you so much for refusing to report that story. And I know a lot of other people did, too. Thanks. I just wish one of them on the TV station now and could hire me. How's that going? Yeah, not so good. I have a website where I do the sports podcast, but pretty much the only hits I get are from Millie pretending she's not Millie. <laughs> well, for what it's worth, I think the answer is yes. If you had to do it again, you do it just like you did the first time. Because that's who you are. And it's a guy we all like and respect. I just wish I was doing better. So how are you doing without your computer or cell phone, Mr. Technologically Grounded? Fine. Bored. Did you tell Clay it? Why do you ask? Well, at the risk of losing my PlayStation, you avoid things, Dad. It's what you do. I do not, you dork. Now come over here. Look. Clay's healing right now. He's recuperating, so I have to be respectful of that. So you didn't tell him yet? No. You guys crack me up sometimes. You and Mom and Aunt Quinn, you worry about stuff that doesn't really matter. Yeah, well, you're short. Yeah, but I'm fast, and your back is messed up. Well, you make a good point. Okay, I'll talk to Clay. Okay, I wish you were a bobcat, Dad. And I know you do, too. And I figure if you're not playing, you must really think it's for the best. And if I can understand that, Clay will, too. Get back to love and each other Leave all those alone and lost my mind Closed over bros. Closed over bros? What the hell is wrong with you? Mom. I am rotting in a prison. Prison! And you give away my company? <sighs> Our company. It's unforgivable. It was the right thing to do. Screw the right thing to do. I'm in prison. Those people believed in me, Mom. I believed in you, too. Look where that got me. I'll leave you alone for a few days, and you go back to being that stupid girl who follows her heart. I never cared for that version of you. I never will. They'll visit me again. My daughter now. <laughs> My dad promised me he'd be here tonight. I'm sure he meant it when he said it. I know this will make you feel better, but take it from a father who knows what it's like to let his child down. He already regrets not being here. Mom, I still can't thank you enough for everything you've done here tonight. My only son got married to Dad. And thank you for being so civil with Dad. I know it's not that easy for you. It's not so bad. I may want to rip his head off every time he opens his mouth, but the truth is, 
When I look at him, I am reminded that he is the guy who gave me the single greatest gift in my life. By Aston Martin. Thank you. So, is that it? Yep. Almost that time. I'm ready. I guess the question is, are you ready? What if mom likes my speech? Sweetie, everybody's gonna love your speech. Well, I keep reading it. It's not very good. I don't want Julian to wish he'd pick someone else to be his best man. Julian chose you because he loves you and because of what you mean to him, not because of some speech that you have to give. Hey, I'm sure it's great, but if you don't like what you wrote, you can always just tell us a story about Julian, something that reminds you of him. All right, everyone, it's time for the best man to come on up here. And well, if everyone knows the answers, you don't need to prepare anymore for tomorrow's test. Good day, everyone. Good looking out, huh? Yeah, no big deal. Uh, yeah, it is. He's a scary dude. Anyways, uh, me and some of the guys get together twice a week for a study group. Uh, we're actually meeting up tonight if you want in. Yeah, sounds great. Where is it? Funny you should ask. It's your night, the host. So, where is it? <laughs> My place, I guess. Are you Charles Daniels Skolnick? I'm Chase, your new big brother. Only losers call me Charles. It's Chuck. Hey, you're Jamie's friend, right? The bartender. Bar manager, yeah. Ooh, so what are we doing today? How would you like to go up in a plane? Cool, where to? Just around Tree Hill, maybe Pickerington. Okay, nice hat. Do they make them for guys? Do I even want to ask? I'll give you a hint. Haley! Haley! No. Oh my god. Guess we don't need those tickets now. Hey, it's Valentine's Day. 
Valentine's Day. I know. I just I thought we were going to rent a movie. Oh, I thought maybe you got me something. All right, hold on, you goof. <laughs> you know you can't hide anything from me. I don't even know why I try. Happy Valentine's Day, Hales. No delicate stream of pain. I'm gonna go take a shower. That's why I wrote this song to sing, my beautiful girl. I'm so glad you asked. My parents are the two most supportive people on the planet. Mm. If I could wrap my childhood up in a bow and give it as a gift, I would. What, with mm. the mother in prison and the absentee father? <laughs> I just want it to be perfect. I know. Just try to relax. It's only our first interview. And it could be our only. Do you know how crazy it is that we got a call so soon? We need to prepare. We need to prepare to be ourselves? Trust me, I have been through this before. It takes some couples years to adopt. You don't get an opportunity like this every day. It's like all the stars aligned for us. Well, maybe we should trust the stars then. Just promise me that you'll follow my lead today. Okay. okay. You're the expert. All right, that's it. Time's up. I can't believe Ian just blew us off. <sighs> well, I guess that the Kellerman apple doesn't fall far from the douchebag tree. I would have pulled this move too, back in the day. And I wouldn't have signed you. And you would have regretted it. Hey! <laughs> Are you sure you're not gonna regret me staying home today? Why are you wearing that? Because I'm so excited. I've got a new sport to watch. I got new lingo to learn, a new place to call, and new cheers to cheer. Uh, uh, we want a catcher, not a belly scratcher. There's no whistles in baseball, Mom. Oh, well, there is now. <laughs> then the answer's no. I won't regret you not being. Oh, boo. Get out of here, you. No whistles. Okay, here I come. <laughs> 